So what about the PSA and finasteride? PSA is prostate specific antigen and this is just a blood test that doctors use to help detect prostate cancer that along with a digital rectal exam and other times imaging are important parts of the detection of prostate cancer the key thing to note here though is that finasteride can make the PSA level artificially low in men who are taking finasteride, even those who have prostate cancer. This makes interpreting the PSA challenging. It's very important for your doctor to know whether or not you are taking finasteride, how long you've been taking it, and uh, what dose you're taking it. The uh, typical dose for hair loss is generally around one milligram. For enlarged prostate, it can be higher up to five milligrams. Some uh, are using off-label uh, uses of higher doses for hair loss, but the bottom take-home point here is that it is important in the interpretation of the PSA lab test to understand whether or not it's valid. And there are some metrics on how to potentially adjust the PSA for those taking finasteride. You want to consult your doctor or a urologist in that regard. The challenge part, challenging part is, and the critical part is, that even a normal PSA in a person taking finasteride uh, can signify prostate cancer. Even small increases in the PSA for men taking finasteride must be interpreted with uh, caution and a suspicious eye. So keep that in mind uh, and talk to your doctor about all options. Be honest and truthful regarding any medications and what doses are being used. Any increase of the PSA must be carefully evaluated. The uh, physician's desk reference uh, notes that any confirmed increase even of a low-level PSA test could signify the presence of prostate cancer and really needs to be evaluated even if it still falls within the normal range for any male taking 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. In this case, we're talking about finasteride or Propecia, as some of you may know it as.